A Buffalo mother facing disturbing allegations tonight, leaving many of you stunned. This story getting hundreds of reactions on our social media pages throughout the day. State police say the woman forced her toddler to stay inside this makeshift cage. Now, this discovery took place back in February, but police are just now releasing the details. 7 News reporter Kristen Moran is looking into this for us tonight, finding out what this mother is now facing and why police waited. It was this shocking discovery made by New York State Police inside a home in Buffalo's Riverside neighborhood, a makeshift cage with a two-year-old boy inside. There was remains of food inside there, uh, bones from chicken, chicken wing bones or some sort of chicken bones. So, I mean, it was something where you look at it and it was disgusting. It was something that no, no one would want to see. Um, it's one of the hardest calls for any law enforcement to go and deal with. Trooper James O'Callaghan says in February, state police went to 24-year-old Naisha Lumpkin's home on Chaddock Avenue to deliver a warrant for trying to cash a forged check. That's when they found her two-year-old son in this cage made from a playpen with a crib tied down on the top. There were some excuses as to why the child was in that cage like that. None of them were good reasons. And let's be honest with you, anyone that has kids or anyone that has seen this picture know that there is no reason for a child to be not only living like that, but is it a parent to put a child in that type of situation? There were some bruising and there was some broken ribs actually that had already been healing. So the injuries would have taken place far before us being there. Acting Erie County District Attorney Michael Kane says Lumpkin has been charged with one count of child endangerment, which is a misdemeanor. I mean, it doesn't make sense to lay people and it doesn't make sense to me and you. I know that. Um, it seems like there is something missing in the legislation and that there should be a higher level charge. Kane says this is an appropriate charge that there won't be any more, even for the two year olds injuries. But unfortunately here, uh, by the time this child was transported to Children's Hospital, you know, the, the, the bruising and the other injuries that were seen were, were old and it would be almost impossible for us to prove. So why are we just hearing about all of this three months after her arrest? Well, state police say they've been trying to gather evidence to directly connect Lumpkin to the injuries to her son, but haven't been able to do so. It's unclear who the child is with now. Lumpkin remains free and is due back in court next month. At this point, these are merely allegations. Um, she has not been convicted of anything, but you know, the condition that this baby was living in is awful and that's understating it. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.